Ah, uh, it wasn't that scary. What was that? Welcome to Screen This. Today I'll be reviewing The Conjuring. Based on a true story in 1971, which makes this even scarier, The Conjuring is about two paranormal investigators, Ed and Lorraine Warren, who works to help a family that has a dark presence in their house, and it's a case they don't ever want to talk about again. Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga... Vera Farmiga? Anyways, you know who I'm talking about. They play the two paranormal investigators, while the other two notables are Lily Taylor and Ron Livingston. I thought Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga were fantastic, uh, especially Farmiga. Lily Taylor was also good in her role, but uh, as for Ron Livingston's character, I mean, anyone could have played it and still no one would give a shit. Look, I'm not a fan of scary movies. The night I watch a scary movie is the night I get nightmares. That's why I watch this at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Seriously though, I think I was brainwashed in thinking that this movie is so freaking scary, but it really wasn't that scary. Look, I counted, and I jumped out of my seat twice, and that's because the loud sound caught me off guard. Anyway, I think The Conjuring is a good movie. Uh, James Wan is the uh, director who is now taking on Fast and Furious 7, which I'm excited for. He really focused on that 1970s horror type movies, and obviously that makes sense because this movie is based in 1971. I thought character development was really good. Uh, like I said, Ron Livingston's character no one gives a shit about. But as for the other three, they were really good. Even the kids that were part of the family. And most importantly, and most importantly the storyline kept me engaged, and it's one of the better movies that I have seen in recent memory. Here's your fun fact for the day. Eight generations of families lived and died in this house before this family moved in. Eight! You would think someone would raise questions after the second or third death, but the crazy part is, the state of Rhode Island does not require home sellers to disclose any paranormal activities to the home buyers. So basically, so basically the gist of this is, I sell you a house, I know you're going to die, so I take your money and you rot in hell. On that note, go watch The Conjuring. I hope you enjoyed my review. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more reviews coming your way. I mean, you don't want to miss more of my reviews, do you? Do you? Oh my god, I'm out of here.